Things have been going really great under Mr. Anselmo's metal tutelage, so I figured it was safe for me to head into town without getting locked out of the metal compound. What's up? What's up, man? Who are you supposed to be? Awesome metal dude. Ah, I think I remember. Are you supposed to be that metal dude? Yeah. How metal are you, man? Like the most metal ever, basically. Is that right? Yeah. Let's see. Answer me something. Who were the original lineup members of Iron Maiden? It's easy. Uh, Adrian Smith and Dennis Stratton on guitar. Steve Harris on bass, Paul Diano on lead vocals, and Nico McBrain on drums. Wrong! Wrong! Clive Burr was original drummer for Iron Maiden. Dick. Damn it. House of Satan, Dave speaking. Oh, hey, King Diamond. Yeah. Yeah, I do think Glenn Danzig takes himself a little bit too seriously sometimes. No, I, I still haven't seen Phil yet. Uh, I'll, I'll tell him. Bennigan, 7 o'clock. Got it. I will definitely tell him. All right, King Diamond. Y yeah, you unleash eternal hellfire on the masses, uh, too. All right. Thanks, King Diamond. Back in diamond. Hey, Phil. Hey, Dave. What's going on, man? Not too much. What are you going to teach me today? You need to work on your stage banner. Okay. Have you worked up anything for the, for the audience? Like what you would actually say in between songs? Or... Yeah, I got some pretty great stuff. Tell me what you got, man. Right. Tell me. And uh, you can hold the old. Yeah, there you go. All right, who wants to get fucked in the face by metal tonight? Too polite. I hope you brought a change of pants because we're about to make your ass explode. I don't know. People need to be able to take you seriously before you can drop absolute steaming horseshit on them. You want to be. The focal point, you hear that? That's the war god Mercury fucking agreeing. Isn't it Thor? Not in fucking geography textbook. All right, let's just keep moving. Do this for me. With uh, authority in your voice. How about something like, how are you motherfuckers feeling tonight? Oh, how are you motherfuckers feeling tonight? What in the unwiped asshole of Molly Cyrus am I going to do with this dipshit? Maybe corpse paint is the way. There's a great variety of boobs. You show me a boob, odds are I'm gonna like it. So I have a smoothie machine. A lot of, yeah, I'm making great. You know, my friend and I were talking about, they're actually very overpriced at a lot of the stores. We figured out ways to make them home that you really don't even notice. You know, they're just as good and better for you, less sure. People are in love and they've spent so much of their lives together. I, I just say, you know, let's not give up unless we have to. So, 
Do you have genitals? So I'm gonna call for a new appointment. You know, we're supposed to be like, what, what services do you want? Do you want something aesthetic or do you want, I mean, for your face, or do you want something done to the rest of your body, hair removal, microdermabrasion? So my friend, Candy, was, was coming in to see me and she was totally talking my ear off about my boyfriend, her boyfriend and my boyfriend and how they always go out and get like totally unlimited calls and she's just like hey i want to come check out your place I'm like are you on crack like would you friend who's like a hot fucking mess would like he like peed on her sofa dick sexual intercourse turned out to be much more vigorous and painful than I expected. So I decided to gather some ingredients Phil told me would be great for a restorative smoothie. He also assured me that grocery shopping is totally metal, which is awesome. <laughs> Give the audience a facial. Scowl. Close, close. Scowl, more scowl -ier. David, David, mm. look at me. No, you look, you're going, you know, you gotta let them have it. Look disinterested, like bored and scowl and Scoff oh, yeah. the festoons. Scoff these festoons. <laughs> What's up? It's you, the metal guy again. Damn right. What are you doing back here? Just being more metal than you'll ever be, basically. Is that right? Yeah. Answer me this question now. Who was the original lineup of Venom? It's easy. Kronos, Mantis, Abaddon, and... Dude's pretty metal. You're going to have to fucking come up with something aggressive, precise, and demanding. Okay. You are some of the most mentally unstable audience members I've ever encountered. Leave and go fucking work on stuff. Right. Wait a, wait a minute. Where in the fuck did you find these? I got a good idea. Hey, they're hampered. Yeah, exactly. They haven't been washed since fucking 1987. Check this out. Ah. Uh... God, it's even spelled wrong. Dave! You need to learn to be your own goddamn person. Don't rip me off, you fucking goddamn bum. Find your own goddamn image. You need to figure it out. Because you're making me fucking physically goddamn nauseated, you horrible fucking cheese-eating fucking weirdo. You're hurting my feelings, and you're a jerk person. Like jerk chicken? And Go figure your life out! Dave Hill. Cheese eating fucking goddamn bum. I tossed and turned in a fitful sleep, my heavy metal memories with Mr. Anselmo flashing before me as if from the distant past. Wake up. Wake up, you little dark angel. Wake up. I want you to head back and see all over the land. God damn it, man. But the more I've thought about it, the more I've realized that Mr. Anselmo is kind of an unstable nut job. And the friend I thought I had is dead to me. Dear 
here, Phil. As it turns out, you really are fucking hostile. And I won't stand for it any longer. <laughs> right. If you ever want to see your grandmother, who is a goat, alive again, you will meet me at the address below for group counseling. Grandma! Next week on Metal Grasshopper. Dave, will you promise to Phil to stop being such a pussy? All the time? <laughs>